What is up guys, it's your boy Raven and today today I'm gonna show you another deck. This is one of those weird decks that normally you would think, oh it's not gonna work. Like the idea is just not there. But actually the deck works and I'm just gonna show it to you. It's a Parasect deck. Right again, <laughs> funny deck, it's all around panic spores. So you wanna confuse our opponent a lot. But let's go card by card. And let's see the deck. First things first, uh, we're playing EVN Jolteon. Why Jolteon? Well, sometimes you need to put a pressure on your opponent, right? And Jolteon is a perfect, perfect tool to put a pressure, but also a perfect uh, perfect card to <coughs> really hit hard your opponent, right? So not only a pressure, also a nice hitting hard card when it needs. So one EV, one Jolteon, that's a line. Then we got Oranguru just for the draw support, right? Because there are going to be situations when we do not have Cynthia, we don't have anything else, and you need this draw. That's why we have Oranguru. Then we have Spinda, two Spindas for the Teeter Punch. Fantastic, fantastic attack, 30 damage, you confuse your opponent, that's all you really need from Spinda. One colorless, amazing card. Then we go to amazing line of three Parases and three Parasects. Why 3-3? Three, three? Why not 4-4? Four, four? Uh, I tested the 4-4 four, four line, it was too much. Like, you never use all four of Parasects. Like, you use 2-3, I never went to full 4. Because I needed, you know, I needed some bench space for uh, my attackers, for maybe a Ranguru or something. So, really, line of 3-3 three, three is uh, great, you know, ability of padding spores, put two damage counters on your opponent confused in between turns. Great, great, great ability. Then, for some nice spread, we have Tapu Koka with Flying Flip, only one copy. Then, to still be able to have the energy, we have one Tapu Koko Prism for the Dance of the Ancients, of course, three circuitry, baby circuitries. Why three? Well, three works best for me, like, that's how I tested it, and it really works the best for me. Dazzle Blast, that's all you want to use. Something like, there are occasions where I'm using Cablegram to hit this 100 damage, but to be quite honest, like, Dazzle Blast is the attack you want to use, and again, this is a baby card, so... If your op opponent KOs it, well, they only take single prize card, right? So you can clearly see where this is going. Then we have one Electro Charger, and when it's one Electro Charger, you know we're gonna have four Electro Powers. Why four Electro Powers? Well, for Zerka Tree, Jolteon, and Tapu Koko. Then three Nest Balls to be sure to get those basics, right? Because the deck revolves only around basics. Uh, almost, like mainly around basics, right? Then we have Pokemon Communication, one copy, one Rescue Stretch, and we get two Timer Balls. Why two Timer Balls? Isn't that you know, the big gamble? Well, yes and no. Timer Ball is only used to get the Parasects and Jolteon, N and not really a Jolteon, you know, if, if we have Eevee. So it's only used to get the Parasects, and to be quite honest, it works really well, even though if you're gonna hit, like, one heads, that's all you need, because you're going for one or two Parasects, you know, majority of the time you're only going for one Parasect, so that's a great, great, great amount. And three Ultra Balls, just to be sure to have what we need, right? So three Ultra Balls. Then Mount Lanakilia, to be just a little annoying to our opponent. Thunder Mountain, of course, you know, to, for Zuka Tree, Coco and Jolteon to lower uh, their attack cost. Then one Apricorn Maker. One Apricorn Maker, to be sure that we have, like, we hit the balls, we hit what we need in the early turns. Then we got three Cynthia's, one Erika Hospitality, and one Gladion. Why Gladion? Well, there were many times when I had the key components prized and I needed Gladion badly. So, in this deck, Gladion works pretty well, and you really want to utilize him. Then three Guzmas, one Judge, that's really all you need. You can put Mars Shadow, but I prefer Judge, because, you know, Judge does not take a bench space that we need. Two Lilies, my favorite Titan Lizard for shuffling and switching, it's just great. Some Choice Bands and 12 Energy, that is it. That is it, like, the deck is... Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. There's not, you know, really overcomplicating things, right? So let's just take it for a spin. Uh, I can tell you from my experience that I had like a 75 60 percent of win, which is like depending on the matchups. Uh, how he is in comparison to those tier ones. 
Well, it all depends on the draws. Um, there, he has like really good games against definitely uh, Zabdos against Pikazak, but some is falls short to do to them as well. Like you know, it's kind of a numbers game and how we're gonna draw. But let's go to game number one. Uh, I always go for heads, so let's go for heads. Do you go first or do you go second? Uh, actually, you can go both. That is your own personal preference uh, that you want to do, because like if you're gonna go first. Then you go in, uh, into the direction of Parasect, and you really want to get Parasect super fast. Uh, okay, let's play Orang. Uh, let's play Zuru Tree. I'm not gonna play Orang Guru yet, so he's not gonna get Guzmad. Mm, if you go in second, you really are more aggressive, and you really want to attack uh, first with the deck, which you can. And you will see right now we went second, right? We are second, so uh, we're gonna attack. I kind I don't think we have a win like straight uh, out of the game. Like Steven's resolve, we got Hoopa. Um, thankfully, you know, we have a deck around baby, so here we are okay. I can just play Mount Lana Kilia. I'm gonna be fine. And of course I also I'm gonna play Electro Power for this additional 30 damage. So there's Electro Power, Nesball for the first Paris. There we go. And now I'm gonna play uh, Oranguru. Why? I'm gonna play Oranguru now. Why not Cynthia first? Well, we might not go down to two cards with Cynthia. Not even only go down to four. So before playing Cynthia, it's always good. Like it's additional card that we're gonna draw. And it's a timer ball. Well, a card that I do not necessarily need, but okay, maybe that would be something else. Maybe that would be a basic, but let's, uh, let's uh, play Cynthia. And okay, there we go. Mm, actually, not a bad, not a bad draw. Let's play a nest ball, and I'm th only to be quite honest. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna go another Paras. So I'm gonna have a line of three Parases. And the Spinda. Okay, so do I want to Spinda or do I want to play Tapu Lele next? You know what? I'm gonna leave myself a one. Uh, one room for options because I don't know if uh, what is prized, but there we go. <laughs> so that that's what that's what I'm telling you. Like you know, our opponent exactly knew what we we're gonna do. That we were playing Paris. I know the game is gonna be uh, in this like blue screen for a second. Don't worry. Like uh, I'm 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 working on it. So like I knew where this is going. That's why we kind of you know. Uh, that's why we kind of went. Uh, through Paris's, that's what I wanted to do. Don't worry, game's back. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, you see, people are kind of, you know, afraid of that deck sometimes, but that's what, what you want to do. Um, you either want to go and establish Paris acts pretty fast and start confusing, or you want to take a different route and go faster on uh, cards like Jolteon. You want to go, you know, a little bit faster with uh, Ranguru. Tapu Koko, you know, Tapu Koko Prism, so there are ways, right, so the deck is really flexible. There are ways, you know, to be fast, to be slow, depending on, on a game. Of course, a late game, well, the deck falls really short late game, but let's go to game number two, let's see what we're gonna face. Hopefully, we're gonna face something nice, and okay, let's see who we're gonna face, right, let's see. What we're gonna I'm always going heads, so let's play heads. And I've won a coin flip. So for now, like we went second to the other game, so let's start as the first. We have like two points, right? A point of views uh, on this on this deck. So definitely, I'm, I'm going to start with Tapu Kaku. So we're going to have well a little bit more aggressive start, but at the same time we have Parasect and Oranguru. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to play Ultra Ball for the Paras. Um, so I'm going to discard Timer Ball and I'm going to discard Guzma. So next I'm going to be able to evolve. And from Oranguru, hopefully we're gonna draw something, right? Because there's nothing else I can do at this point. Maybe I can play uh, Tapu Lai. Oh, and we're facing Lost March. Um, okay, 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 okay. So we're facing Lost March. This is gonna be definitely interesting uh, game if you ask me. So, you know what? I don't need two Guzmas now. To be quite honest, I don't need Guzmas. Uh, we have Lily, so, but I don't play Tapu Lele. So what I think what I'm gonna do, um, I can be more aggressive now, and I can go all ready for EV retreat and be ready for next turn, or I can be more conservative and play Zerukatri. 
But not for for the purpose of the video, let's play Paris. Uh, normally I would think I would go EV to be more aggressive. Um, but let's go with Paris. Put, I'm gonna put energy on uh, Tapu Koko, so you know we're gonna load the spread. Oranguru, there is this. Instruct, then we're gonna draw something nice. Because we're not playing DCE, right? Like that's, you know, that's a, something to remember. We are not playing DCE. Okay, another Parasect. Sure. So you see, like, I went first. Uh, so, like, me attacking uh, with or leaving uh, Jolteon GX, like, out of the open. Mm, I don't know if that would be the, the best idea in the world, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I know he can't evolve yet, uh, but the Tapu Koko spread attack will not knock out mm, the amount of uh, Pokemon I want him to knock out. But okay, he left it this way. Oh, this is okay. This is going to be interesting. So, we got Thunder Mountain. So if I'm going to get a Zerka Tray, um, I, I can actually, you know. Attack for free, but we got a Coco that can attack for 100. And there's Zerka Tree and there is Parasite. Uh, alrighty, right. So I'm gonna start with Electric Ball. So nice, huge attack. First knockout against Lost Mark. 200. There we go. And you see, like, you know, the deck can really snowball uh, pretty fast, and that's why we have Oranguru. You see, like, the Oranguru is a key component to your first few turns because you're gonna find yourself. Because we do not play Tapu Lele, you're gonna find yourself uh, many times without, you know, a lot of support, especially drawing support. So it is quite hard. But it's like the draws were, were are okay. Like they are better than during the stream. So he's gonna attack. Choice bent for whatever reason. Uh, I think he he thinks we have GXs. So thankfully I have not played GXs. So he's not gonna get a free, uh, free two uh, prizes, <laughs> and there it is, and there it is. That's you know that is a game against, uh, against against Lost March. So yeah, I'm I'm struggling with this bug that when I win versus it actually you know uh, cuts down the game. But don't worry, um, we're gonna play one more. We're gonna play one more game. So don't worry. I know the screen is black for a second, but it's gonna come back. Don't worry about that. Uh, third game. And I'm gonna reinstall the game like for the fifth time today uh, after 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 the video. So hopefully it's gonna work. Hopefully it's gonna work uh, on that. So because I think like this, those games were so fast that we really need the game number three uh, to showcase the deck some more. Because I didn't even you know I wasn't even able to attack properly uh, with this deck because people were conceding to it, right? Because people are really afraid of the whole idea when they see that. And and, and you saw that yourself, right? Um, I don't know what the first opponent played, like there was a Hoopa. But it, it's kind of a shame, like, you know, you can try, you can try to play your best. And we play against Water-type deck. Okay, this, this might be really interesting to play against Water-type deck. So, probably Blastoise, that's what I'm thinking. We have to go first. Okay, let's go first one more time. Let's go first one more time and let's see what happens. Because uh, again, we can go both ways. And you see, bam, like we got a more, aggress a more aggressive start. Um, but it's okay. I'm honestly thinking that he's playing Blastoise, so... I'm gonna use Gladiant for one. Oh, wait, what? what? Okay, pop... Oh, okay, so that is... A completely different approach okay so let's go for Jolteon uh, again this is scary because Jolteon is not always there so playing you now on EV it is always scary to me uh, but okay let's see Gladion what is inside prize cards and Lily there we go so it's like Lily will definitely help us during our turn one so um, he's playing basic so I can really use this I can get rid of Guzma and energy to get, uh, to get, to get, uh, actually, you know what, Oranguru. And something that, you know, not a lot of people do, but I highly recommend, is before you're gonna play Lily during your first turn, use the Oranguru, because you might draw a basic, you might draw something that you will be able to play. Of course, you know, I, I've used Gladion, so I can't use Lily, um, stupid me. But you understand the point, right? No, it's always good to play Oranguru before Lily, because maybe you'll have something you can play, and 
that is always always nice to have. So I kind of cut myself and I do not have Parasus during my turn 1. Kind of a bummer, but uh, you know, what I can do. So we got a Blastoise, okay. Um, where are the energies gonna go? Okay, because he used Beacon, you know what, actually Judge is gonna be a better option. He played Beacon, we want to disrupt, like this is all about disrupting. And there we go, Paris, Tapu Koko. I'm not gonna play Tapu Koko, we're gonna play Paris. Actually, what? Yeah, I kind of have to play Coco because I really want to use Orangru's uh, Instruct. So yeah, let's use Instruct. We play the Coco, we have the Paris, and we got Cynthia for next turn. Fantastic. And Headbolt. Like, I'm not scared of uh, Poplio. And that is it. That is it. Guys, so this is Parasite deck for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like you see, like we went 3-0. and It's a really fun deck. When you need, you can be aggressive with Jolteon. When you want to be, you know, more mid range, you can do that. So it's really nice and flexible deck. If you like the video, uh, click, you know, uh, like like the video right over here. Like there's somewhere at the bottom, like probably down there. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like that. And you know, starting starting tomorrow, we're gonna be having more Let's Go Eevee gameplay that I'm gonna play on Twitch. And you know, then we're gonna have the full game here. Some shiny hunting as well. More me versus my uh, my fiance. So the second half of Pokemon Copyright. It's Raven versus Kovac and, and more stuff. So, and again, from Monday to Friday, you have decks uh, for you. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Down there below, you also have 5% discount on Professor Oak on any code you will purchase. So, don't forget about that. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you guys on stream. Raven loves you. Bye. Mwah. See ya.